Good evening. Our big story tonight, a war of words down at the state capitol over who fired an African-American staffer. That staffer won a million dollar award from a jury that agreed that her firing was a result of racial and sexual discrimination. Caught in the middle, Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, one of the staffer's former bosses. Team Charles political insider Bram Resnick is here with that story. Bram? Yeah, the verdict came down last month. The court's still deciding whether the staffer should get more money and damages. And now Democrats and Republicans are fighting over who discriminated against her. At a hearing today, a top Republican stunned the court saying, I didn't do anything. It's Katie Hobbs' fault. We just spoke to Hobbs, and she tells a different story. Acting as her own lawyer and star witness, Talonia Adams sued the Arizona State Senate and won a $1 million verdict last month from a federal court jury. The former policy advisor for Senate Democrats argued she was paid $60,000 a year when she was hired and never got a raise. Adams said her workload was heavier than other staffers for the same job. Her male counterparts were paid more and got raises, and she was fired in 2015 for complaining about discrimination. At a hearing Wednesday, Wendy Baldo, longtime chief of staff for Senate Republicans and one of Adams' bosses, agreed with the jury. There was discrimination. But under oath, Baldo told Adams, I did not retaliate or discriminate. Adams, who did? Baldo, minority leadership, Katie Hobbs and her chief of staff. Back in 2015, when Adams was fired, current Secretary of State Katie Hobbs was minority leader of the Senate. On Wednesday, Hobbs flatly rejected Baldo's claims. That is absolutely not true, and it's really unfortunate that she's refusing to take responsibility for her part, and um, discrimination didn't happen. Now, the blame game gets complicated here because Talanya Adams worked for four people, Katie Hobbs and her chief of staff, as well as Wendy Baldo and her boss, current Congressman Andy Biggs. He oversaw the Republican-controlled Senate. Adams worked directly for Democrats, but Hobbs said every member of that big four was involved in the decision to fire her, and it was the Republicans who had ultimate power to hire and fire. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thank you.